Hey guys, it's Anya, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a little kind of vlog kind of thing. I'm at my mum's house and I'm walking um, my dog as well as their, my brother and my mum are going to be walking this little doggy here who's called Benji and we've got a Frankie over Frankie. there. Um, so yeah, to walk my dog, so I'm paraplegic, so um, I use a resistance band. I've shown this in a video before but I'll just do it in depth and it's quite good having someone film me instead of from my perspective, I'll show you what it looks like, like how I look like when I'm actually walk, um, wheeling along. So I put this around my waist. Um, you can use something that's kind of like a belt or something, but I quite like the resistance band because when she pulls, it's like it doesn't hurt kind of thing. Um, and then I've got quite good balance, so I'm able to lean down and get Betty on her lead. That's it. And then it obviously leaves my hands free and I'll show you how Betty walks because she's very good. She's my little companion and she, she's walked like this when we frame just so she's got used to the kind of routine. <laughs> Frankie! Good girl! I know, don't look so scared. We're going in a minute. <laughs> oh, say hello. So this is my brother Aaron. Right, let's go. So this means I can go on family walks without not without um, having to be excluded um, and have them walk the dogs for me. It's nice I can just go along walking them. Hi. Hi. She's never seen a horse in a life. No, she don't see. And this new chair that I've got with creepy argon is actually a lot better at like coping with um, uneven ground. I'm not really sure what the <laughs> I'm, not really, I'm not really sure what the reason is for that because technically the quickie helium I think is the newer model and the quickie helium is what I had um, that I bought with like I bought privately and that was my first chair, the pink one. This is the uh, quickie argon, but I have found that going around and um, this my hometown's quite like a bit uneven and I find it a lot easier in this chair I don't know if it's because it's narrower or if there's something specific about the way the casters work or whatever um, but as well as it being narrower it's so much easier to push um, it doesn't you know you don't feel like you're really putting your back out to push it whereas the helium for some reason did the good thing about Betty is she's really well behaved so she's quite happy walking to the side of me whoops to the side of me if she wants to um go in front she's it, she actually goes really far in front she probably knows that i'd probably end up running her over there you can see how uneven pretty much all paths in england are to be honest um which can be a bit of a struggle i find that uh, commentary actually is a bit flatter than my hometown here um i don't know why and also, one thing you find when you go out on walks in your village or whatever, you can see here I'm kind of actually pushing with one hand.
Oh, great. So on the shit. Hmm. Oh, no, she's not. Hmm. Also, if it does come to it and Betty decides to defecate on the grass, um, I've got a little thing here um, which makes it easy for me. I pop it off, and I, I mean, some probably just don't have the balance. I'm, I'm like here, so it's okay. I guess if your chest, it'd be quite hard to lean down, but I'm, I am able to lean completely to the floor and reach, reach it. I don't know why I winked. <laughs> Switch of cameraman. Aaron is on. When Emmy was very little, we used to come on our bikes to school. We always used to come this way. And Annie decided before school that she would go through the ford, which is that bit there, just past the bridge. Of course, as she got way halfway along, she fell off a bike, landed in the water. We had to run home, get a change out of school uniform, put something else on. I think I had to give Aaron to a neighbour or somebody who was passing by to take him to school. At and we started. can't ride a bike no more. That's yes, true, we, we don't have that problem anymore. I do tend to be a bit nervous when Annie comes down here because it's a narrow pathway and I'm always looking at that wheel, how close it's getting to the curb. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually water. went in? But look how disgustingly annoying <laughs> the pavement is all the time. It's never given. It's always like uneven ground wherever you go. And I mean, to be honest, you know, I'm mainly now, but in other countries it's like 10 times worse and they don't even have access to buildings or anything at least in england it's getting a bit better accessibility wise but the paths are a bit of a let down but i'm sure it's worse in other countries because i've had people on instagram say that they literally can't get out of the house because there's nowhere for them to actually navigate around yeah. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Oh, this is a problem with my dog she's not Stopped and she's once I was wheeling over a road and then she just stops in the middle of there. She has no road sense. you have to go down backwards in the spinal unit we're always told to go backwards and every go down like at least double of that like a normal curb like like the curb over there even for them i always go down backwards and you like lean forward like this and that helps you get down to personally on curbs like this i would go down backwards it's not <laughs> i wasn't very graceful but that's what you're supposed to do i don't know why I think it's, uh, it might be to do with balance and you don't want to fall out your wheelchair, do you?
Britney, bitch. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up um, if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel as well. So make sure to turn the notification bell on and uh, comment your input down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.